Hi guys, first of all, welcome to the form check video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at the bodyweight squat and some of the little technique changes and tweaks that you can make in order to make sure that your squats are both effective and reducing your risk of injury as well. Now, from experience, when uh, I train people and when I see them squatting, there are two common variations that I come across that we want to sort of touch on first of all. So, the first one is someone that sets up with a relatively narrow stance, so they've got their feet within shoulder width. Um, and when they squat, their range of movement is limited by the fact that because their feet are quite close together underneath their hips, they can't get the range of movement in the hip joint to go anywhere near to 90 degrees or past it. The second variation is that quite often we see people when they set up for squats with an excessively wide stance. Now the problem here is that although you can get a good range of movement, in the lower range of the movement, so when you're sitting down towards the floor, there's an excessive amount of stress on the knee joint because of the angle that it finds itself in, and that can lead to little uh, niggles and tweaks further down the line. So the ideal foot position as your first point is to have the feet around sort of shoulder width apart, maybe a fraction outside shoulder width. And that's the thing that I would get you to look at first of all. So nine times out of 10, if you squat with your feet around shoulder width or just outside shoulder width, you're going to be able to create a good range of movement and you're going to reduce the amount of stress and pressure on the knees as well. Now, the other thing to think about is your uh, foot alignment. Okay, so if I was to start in the squat with my toes at 12 o'clock, I can come into the squat, but I can only get so far because of the position and the angle of the hip joint. So what I want to do is actually open the feet up slightly to open the hip joint, okay? So start with the toes at 12 o'clock, just take them out slightly. So it's not a huge rotation, it's just a slight rotation out to the side. What this does is it opens up that hip joint within the socket so that you can sit deeper into your squat, you can create a bigger range of movement before you drive back up off the floor. So the first thing is foot position, just outside shoulder width or around shoulder width apart. The second thing is foot alignment with the toes turned out slightly. The next little pointer is all about how you can actually create tension through the muscles of the lower body to make your body weight squats that little bit more effective. So the way that we do this is when you've got your foot position, you've got the width, you've got the alignment, what I want you to think about here is trying to grip the floor with your feet. So what I'm doing is I'm digging my heels in, I'm using my feet and my toes just to grip the floor and effectively trying to screw the feet into the floor. And straight away when I do this, I can start to feel the tension in the thighs, I can feel it a little bit in the buttocks as well. And that basically tells me that those muscles are firing up and they're supporting the frame of the lower body. So that when I do the squat, I have more tension in the lower body and therefore I'm going to create greater strength, power um, and movement progression further down the line. So these are the first points for you to think about. The width of the stance, just outside or around shoulder width apart. Foot position, turned out slightly. Also gripping into the floor to create the tension in the lower body. From there, what I want you to think about is how you actually generate power through the squat, okay? so. When you do squats, you can just set yourself up in position, you can get everything right, but then you just end up going through the motions of doing your squats and not really feeling the benefit in the legs and the buttocks as you do that exercise. So we have to have a little bit of thought behind uh, the hip position and how we're gonna generate the power off the floor. Okay, so when you're thinking about the squat, in order to get the most benefit, foot position, foot alignment, grip the floor to get the tension. From there, what I want you to think about is trying to drive the hips down towards the heels, okay? So we're trying to actively drive those hips down towards the heels, testing what sort of range we can get, and then from there, really digging the feet into the floor and trying to push the floor away on the way back up. And by doing that, you're gonna feel a bigger effect in the thighs and the buttocks and strengthen those areas more effectively. So watching that sideways on, I set my foot position first of all, I turn my toes out, I'm starting to grip the floor. From here, I'm keeping my chest up nice and high, thinking about driving my hips down between the heels, and then from there, I'm really trying to dig in and push off the floor to get back up to the top. 
So we're really trying to sort of push the floor away and generate as much power as possible. Now, if you start to introduce these little tweaks uh, and changes into your squat routine, please let us know in the comments how you find uh, the, the tweaks, how you find them, whether or not you can feel the tension in the thighs, whether or not you can get a good range of movement. Obviously, your range of movement can be limited by uh, the, the range in the knees. If you feel any sort of pain, discomfort, uh, please make sure that you stop the exercise and again, that you ask within the community for a variation to try and reduce your risk of injury as much as possible.